we leaves us with our third and final pillar, and that is this, to the give. And look, who here has family? By way of hands, who here would do so much more for them than they ever would for themselves? Pretty much the whole room here, pretty much the whole room, would do more for someone else than you would for yourself. Why? Because we can give to ourselves, we can give to us, and we, we can call that growth, but we can give to ourselves so much. But when you hear great news, when you get that promotion, when you get that promotion, you know, when you get that, or when you level up, or when you achieve, what is the first thing you want to do? If you're not already with someone, you want to get straight on the phone and tell the people you love most. Now, you want to give to people in that sense because of what you've achieved, but when you can give to people from your soul, from deep within, from what you know is right, from what you feel is right within you, fulfillment enhances with inclusion. And look, what I mean by this is you will give to yourself and you will achieve so much with yourself, but as we've just touched on, when you can include others and include the people that you love, when you work in a team cohesion, a team bond, and you create that connection within, how much stronger is that? How much more purposeful is that? that you've done that together. Because look, fulfillment enhances with inclusion. You will do more for other people than you ever will do for yourself. Who has set an alarm in the morning with the intention of getting up and going to the gym? Right. Who, when it gets to that morning, has snoozed that alarm and, got, and said, you know what, I'll give myself an extra 10 minutes. Who, when that extra 10 minutes comes along, has turned that alarm off and said, you know what, you deserve a line today. You deserve that little break. Why don't you give that? Exactly. We all have been there. We all have been there. Because you're doing something for yourself and it gives you so much courage. It gives you so much leverage. It gives you so much drive to go and do it. Now, who here has been working throughout the week and your boss comes on your desk and goes, I need that done by Friday. Make sure it's on my desk. Otherwise, there could be consequences. Maybe they didn't say it like that, but you know there may be. Who got that deadline in? Who got that done? Exactly, why? Because we will give more to others than we ever will do for ourselves. My point being here, when you can give to others in a sense that isn't just about what you will receive back, but you want to give to share, to empower, to uplift, to transform. This purposeful life, mixed with those ingredients of growth and having a direction of intention, are you on the road to success? Are you on the road to success and fulfillment for yourself? Complete mastery of your mental, physical, emotional state because you understand what makes you tick. Because you understand what gets you going. Because look, I'm gonna circle this all back around to you here. For me personally, I found myself in a situation that I found myself lack in lack. And what I mean by in lack is that whenever, we've, whenever we suffer, any of us personally, it's because it's what we feel like we're lacking or what we don't have. Now you can reserve, re reverse that in a second. All you need to do is give and give honestly, give from your heart, give from your soul, give from something that matters. And in doing so, you naturally give to yourself. And this was a process for me that I went through and I wrote two lines through here, as you can see, personal and societal. These, this was off my own back. The personal, what do I want to give to people to uplift them? I won't go into all that now, but this was something to me that I knew I had to give. And I do that in a lot of ways now. And then, for example, I went on to societal work, societal giving that I wanted to do. And that can come in the form of charity work about what I'm passionate about, monthly donations, and I do these two things now. And as I say, I circle back to this because you can have a direction of intention of what you want to go after. You can have something that's going to make you grow and go and grasp that. But once you do that, if you do that alone, you will feel a certain level of grace. You'll feel a certain level of passion. You'll feel a certain level of fulfillment. With this little bit sprinkled in, if you can then give, bring, share, do, have, become with people, when you do this, the game will change for you. Because look, all of this relates to you how some people live with a job. Some people are nine to five, they live for the weekend. Others have a career. They have longevity. It's secure, it's enjoyable, however it's dated. For example, my football career. This was me on the labouring site, nine to five, live for the weekend, get to the weekend, man. Whew, 
when I come out of football, this was my football career. Longevity, security, enjoyment, however it's dated. And then we have a calling, a never ending pool of fulfillment. And this is where you hear people, what we said at the start of this presentation, I found my purpose. I found my purpose. They haven't found their purpose, they've uncovered that purpose, which is exactly what we've been speaking about today, uncovering your purpose. Because I promise you that when you put that concoction of three pillars together, that direction of intention, that growth, how you can give, you will dip into this never ending pool of fulfillment. And if you can do that in an avenue that you call work, that can be your calling. If you can do that in an avenue that is your charitable work, that can be your calling. If you can do that in a way that you can give to your family and have a direction for your family and have an avenue of growth for your family, that can be your calling. Because I'm gonna leave you with this, that we all believe that we have this one calling in life. I found my calling. We haven't found our calling. Like what we said, you uncover your purpose. You discover your calling.